Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is episode 654, and we are going to uh, have with me my associate, Dr. Mark Pagano, here in a little bit. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and if you would please go to our office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. In about 10 minutes, maybe a little more, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. If you would like to pre-program that phone number into your phone now to be ready, the number is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. All right, so Dr. Pagano, thank you so much for joining me again on the show. So I wanted to say you've been part of Dr. Kavik and Associates since December of 2019. Oh, just remember 2019 before we'd ever heard of COVID-19. <laughs> oh, we missed that year real bad. <laughs> yeah. Can we just go back to that? <laughs> I think we could, yeah. <laughs> Do you know why it's called COVID-19? Um, I actually don't know why now. Because I was teasing somebody the other day, one of our patients, and I said, uh, whatever happened to COVID-17 or COVID-18? And he said, they name it after the year it was discovered. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really just assumed that it was just another strain of that virus. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, so anyway, you've been here for about seven and a half months, if you don't count the uh, shutdown, which was about a month and a half. So tell me, how do you think things are going? Oh, I think things are going amazing. I mean, at least from my end, I've just from a personal growth standpoint, I feel like I've quadrupled the amount of procedures I'm able to do and just really gotten my confidence down pat now. Oh, that's awesome, because one of my questions was going to be how you've been rapidly expanding your offerings to our patients, and of course, I'm very happy with that. So tell me, what procedures are you offering here that you weren't able to offer at your last office? All right, new things that I've done here that I didn't do at my old office, IV sedation, root canals on molars, gum grafts, veneers, apicos, that's five right off the top of my head that I can think of. So an apico is where you have to cut off the apices, the very end of a root, right? And get rid of an infection and put a filling in there, right? Yep, yep, that's what it is. Yeah, I, I never thought I would be able to do those, but you know, I watched a couple of Dr. Kavitko's and just listened to his advice and he just makes it seem so easy. So I just got the confidence to be able to do it and it turned out really well. It is easy. This is not rocket science, I say that all the time. It really isn't. <laughs> no, no, it really does seem like rocket science though when you're coming out of school, they make it seem like everything is difficult that they don't teach you in school directly so it's just about learning and feeling comfortable doing the procedure waiting till you are comfortable to do it and then executing it properly so i want to interject a couple things here one is is that there's this saying in medical school and dental school watch one do one teach one and the premise is is you have these very smart educated folks who are learning how to do new procedures and that it really shouldn't take much more than seeing one done and then go do it yourself and then you're comfortable enough to teach the next one. That may or may not be exactly true, but it is kind of a saying that we, we joke about and actually try to live by when we're in dental school and medical school. So something that, Dr. Pagano, you didn't know is that I snuck in when you were doing IV sedation. Uh, you were doing veneers on a patient, and so let's listen to this. <laughs> By the way, folks, did you hear that little difference in the sound? Here, listen again. 
The second half of that little soundbite was the person breathing. And you'll probably hear it again one more time in the rest of this soundbite. There it was. That was it. Just a little bit of a whoosh sound. So the point is, is that we have the patient hooked up to a precordial stethoscope and we have that hooked up to a Bluetooth enabled speaker and we can hear them breathing even though uh, you have all of those other noises going on. And that makes the procedure, the fact that the patient's sedated, even more safe than it would be if there were just one person listening to, say, a Bluetooth-enabled earpiece or something. This way, everyone in the room can hear the person breathing. And to be honest, you can hear the breathing going on from down the hall. And you left one out. You left out implants. Oh, yeah, an implant. I forgot I did an implant. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, he's really coming along. It's pretty amazing. So what I wanted to mention is right before the shutdown, we had just announced that you were offering Botox services, and I know you've seen a few Botox patients since we reopened back on May 1st. Were those people excited to get back on track with their Botox treatments, you know, like people who were anxious to get their hair permed, colored, and cut? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've actually been even getting texts from friends as well saying that they need Botox immediately when, the, when everything was shut down. But, yeah, people really are on the head with it in terms of being on a strict schedule. So, yeah, that started up pretty quickly again as well. Awesome, yeah. Now, previous to you joining us, I had a young associate who, after only a few months with us, announced that he wanted to become an endodontist. So actually, you're his replacement. I think you knew that, right? <laughs> yeah, I did know that, yeah. Okay, but you're not going anywhere, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. I actually have like four classmates that I know of off the top of my head that started out as general practitioners and then after a year of practice are going back to be endodontists as well. Really? I wonder what the, what the allure is. Uh, root canals are fun to do. I don't know what it is about them, but there's something that I could honestly do them all day and not get bored of them. They're exciting in a way. <laughs> yeah, but don't you also like the other things, like the variety? Yeah, oh, exactly. No, I like the variety for sure, but I can see why people would do it. But yeah, I like doing variety. I like adding new procedures to my repertoire, so I would I like staying where I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. And I think it probably helps people to know that because, you know, if somebody comes and stays a few months, they start wondering, is the new guy going to only stay a few months? <laughs> no, I have no plan on leaving anytime soon. <laughs> okay, and in fact, you kind of planted some roots, didn't you? You bought a house. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that was a tooth joke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. No pun intended on that one. Most of the time, my puns are intended. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm coming to Old Town East. I just bought a house. I just closed on Tuesday, and I moved in yesterday, so it's really exciting. I'm happy to be putting my roots in Columbus. I love this city so much. Awesome. Oh, that's really neat. And so, like I think I said, welcome to the land of debtors. <laughs> yep, that is what the woman at the title agency said as soon as I signed. Not, congratulations, you have a house. She said, congratulations, you have debt. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think that's how the government likes it. They want us all to have to reason to get up and go to work in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, I feel more inspired than ever. <laughs> Got to pay that off. <laughs> there you go. See, it works. It works. So they wouldn't do it if it didn't work. Okay, so do you have a favorite procedure that you're doing now? I mean, you mentioned how root canals kind of excite you, but is that your favorite or is there something else that's becoming your new favorite or whatever? I think currently I'm really into root canals. I don't, I, because I never, in dental school, they really try to shy you away from doing molar root canals because they try to save that for the specialists and they don't really teach us it. So when I did my first one here, I kind of just went for it. I didn't even tell Doc I was doing it and <laughs> it was a success. So I, I think it was something in my head that I built up as being really, really hard. So when I kind of pushed that down myself, it just was a really gratifying feeling. Yeah, and, and by the way, folks, a uh, root canal on a molar is no different than doing three single-rooted teeth. So he already knew how to do root canals. They just didn't let them do the ones with multiple roots. So it's just like doing one root three times. Yeah, no, exactly. That's really what it is. We had everything in our repertoire already to be able to do it. So it was just about making myself do it and just having the confidence in my abilities. And every single one's turned out great, and I'm, I'm just excited to do more. Awesome. So eight months ago, would you have ever thought of yourself as being able to do all these procedures? No, absolutely not not. I thought like maybe I could add all this stuff into my <laughs> armor maybe like 20 years down the road, not <laughs> six months into a new job. <laughs> <laughs> but why wait, right? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I'm, I'm super excited to be doing them now. That's cool. So what excites you most about being a dentist? Because I know you come from a family of physicians and initially you were like the outlier because you weren't going to become a physician. You were going to become what, just a dentist? 
I was going to be a physician at first, and then I switched over to dentistry. I just really enjoyed doing stuff with my hands. It really just not only makes the day just fly by, but it's also just good to see the fruits of your labor and see the actual results from your work that you did with your own hands. So, I don't know, there's something just really satisfying about that that I just love. Yeah, and I hadn't really thought about it that way, but it is true. A physician, and uh, if you're a physician and listening, feel free to call in and correct me, but <laughs> you make a diagnosis, you tell the patient to take these pills or those pills and you might see them again but and you say call me if this doesn't work or if you get worse but if they're better you don't really see it where we see the final root canal x-ray we see the final crown we see the final cosmetic enhancement or the gum graft that now looks like it didn't even need it was never an issue right yeah absolutely yeah I think that's really is the best part similar to surgeons they probably have a, a similar kind of gratification walking away from a day of work there but that's why they call us you know doctors of dental surgery because we are surgeons, we are doing stuff with our hands, and we do get to see results that we actually made ourselves. Yeah, and I like looking at the x-ray, and that's like instant gratification when you see that. Oh, it's the best <laughs> feeling ever, yeah. When you're waiting for that x-ray to pop up to see how well of a job you did, it's a little nerve-wracking, and then when it looks perfect, it's just is honestly a really indescribable feeling. Yeah, and there are times when, and I was showing somebody earlier today, root canal that we had done, is that one of the patients coming in today, we always look over their x-rays, and I was showing the series of x-rays, and one of the films showed where I hadn't gotten all the way to the end of the one root, and I knew that right then, and I took it out and redid it, and so the final film looks awesome. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, and you're able to do corrections like that as well, so it just is really a rewarding profession, I really do love it. Good, and I'm sure that's what makes your mom the happiest, and your dad is the fact that you're happy, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I think that's what makes her the happiest as well. Also that I probably can pay my bills and she knows I'm not on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Good points. That bills that just went up a little bit yeah. with, with the house just payment. <laughs> So it looks like it's time for us to go to a break. We're going to be talking more with Dr. Pagano here in a minute. Actually, what we need to do is do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. So let me give you that number. Don't call yet, but I'm going to give you the phone number. And I'm also going to remind you what the answer might be if you're paying attention. But the phone number is 614-459-9769. You might want to put that in your phone now. 614-459-9769. You'll have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis here soon. And you might want to remember that the thing that Dr. Pagano likes most about being a dentist, at least right now, is the instant gratification of the procedures that he's doing. Correct? Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Before we do the contest, we need you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household. Prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, so today we've been talking with my associate, Dr. Pagano. When I asked him the thing he likes most about being a dentist, what did he say? Did he say A, that he likes not having to work on Sunday? B, he likes wearing the PPE, personal protective equipment. C, he said being a dentist makes him the life of the party when he goes to one. Or D, he said that he likes the instant gratification of the procedures he is doing. Okay, the winner is going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind And there's nothing else hidden in the world tonight She said people don't take the time Hey, people don't take the time Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2 You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network Where I play Danny on the hit soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist 
Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Guess what? We're open and here to take care of all of your dental needs. It's been a long time coming, but in the words of Governor DeWine, it's full steam ahead. During the time we were closed, we were acquiring PPE. We were developing a plan to keep you safe. We've had Zoom meetings, a very active text string, and in addition to going into the office to take care of emergencies, we've been in complete contact with each other, so we'd be ready. Are you ready? We bet your teeth and gums are. Don't forget, your teeth haven't been cleaning themselves, your cavities haven't been getting any smaller, and your gum disease hasn't been healing itself. And if you haven't had x-rays in a while or an exam, there could be a lot of things going on in there that you're not aware of because, let's face it, cavities don't hurt, even abscesses don't hurt until they get really bad. Call us at 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or go to drkvitko.com. That's D-R-K-V-I-T-K-O.com. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavicko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavicko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavicko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavicko and Associates today. 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Would my producer please tell me who is the winner of Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Who knew that the correct answer was D, that he likes the instant gratification of the procedures he is doing? Dr. Kavitko, the uh, winner is Laura in Centerburg. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations to our winner. For those of you who didn't win, please call back again next week. Okay, so as you may know, we've been speaking with my associate, Dr. Pagano. He's been with me now for seven and a half months, although we lost a month and a half during the COVID-19 shutdown. And I do want to talk a little bit about that. So how did you handle the shutdown? I mean, yeah, just how did you handle it? I would say I was a little bit eager on edge about it. And I'm sure all of us were in the beginning, but I tried to take it as a time to have some personal growth in different areas. You know, I tried to read a lot and just make sure I was focusing on continuing to grow as opposed to just staying in quarantine and kind of getting that little laziness that quarantine can infect us with. So I tried my best to take it as a time to grow in some areas that I, I wasn't able to while I was working. Isn't that when you were able to have this idea that I can do root canals on molars clicked in your head on your own at home, right? Yeah, it actually was. I, I just decided I was just going to go for it at the next opportunity that I had. I think that was part of it. Just I was trying to think of ways to improve once quarantine was over since we missed a month and a half of work. And I think that's when I convinced myself that I was able to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. And that reminds me of back in the Great Recession. You might have just been a little kid back then. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even in, hadn't even had not even graduated high school, had you? No, I did not graduate <laughs> high school yet as, as a junior. <laughs> so during the Great Recession, I knew things were bad and slow, and that, but I knew they wouldn't be that way forever. And so I made that same commitment we're a lot alike, I guess, I decided, okay, I'm going to use this time to add more services. I'm going to go get training for this and that. And that's when I added six-month smiles. It's when I added implants back in 07. Oh, I got the one laser because I was able to make payments, you know, and, I, and so I started doing the laser-assisted gum surgery. And so I knew that, yeah, it's not going to be like this forever. So it was tight financially, by the way. I went out to Arizona, cheap flight, stayed in a really cheap hotel that made me nervous and ate a bologna sandwich for dinner, you know. <laughs> I remember you telling me that story, and I thought it was in, like, the 90s or something, not, not in 2008. <laughs> no, that was, you know, 2007 when it first hit. So, But, hey, it paid off, right? Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. You added a lot more than I did, but the recession maybe had a bigger effect. <laughs> and it lasted longer. <laughs> yeah, and it lasted a long time. So what was going through your mind then uh, as it relates to your future was, I'm just going to be...
be as prepared as I can for when this recovers. That's kind of what you were thinking? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was hoping that it was going to be short-lived. I was hoping that eventually the governor would see the importance of having dentists open, that it is a critical job, a crucial job that I don't think we should have been closed down because people's teeth have issues no matter what. So it was nice to be the first thing reopened and to get back on track and to feel productive and a part of society again. Right. Other than wearing these crazy masks all the time. And by the way, we're both wearing masks even though we work in the same office and we put on our masks either before we hit the door like you see me doing it outside and or the minute you come in because you don't know was this person exposed overnight was there a lapse whatever and so it wouldn't really matter if we're always wearing our masks oh yeah absolutely it's super important and we want everybody to see us as an example as well you know we don't want you guys walking in the building seeing us without masks and we don't want to expose you to us without masks as well there's a lot of benefits to doing it and i think we see ourselves as leaders and showing that it's really not that hard to wear a mask all day because we we do it every day anyway. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if you're ever watching the show, you'll see that I'm even wearing a mask while I'm doing the show, and I put a mask over the microphone, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I've seen you not in a mask since uh, February. <laughs> <laughs> and neither has my family. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, yeah. I uh, could say I'm hiding a big zit, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what your face looks like. I'm looking at your pictures on your wall right now, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that is what my boss looks like. <laughs> it's funny when we meet new people. They walk in, and they have a mask, as they should, and... And by the way, when the governor first came out with his primetime discussion and he said asking everybody to wear a mask regardless of what county you're in or what level you're in as far as a COVID-19 alert, I think he should have made it a mandatory thing and let's hope that maybe he does soon. Okay, so I think it's time for us to go to a break, I just realized. So hang in there with me. We have one more break and then we'll, when we come back, we're gonna, I've got several more questions, okay? Sounds good to me. You can't take me as I am. Just a little bit I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su sesión favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service By becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> Okay, we're back. I'm Dr. Kavitka. With me is Dr. Pagano. He is my associate, and we're talking about a lot of things, some of the things that happened during the COVID-19 shutdown, some of the procedures that he is now offering that he wasn't before, and just all in all, kind of like what makes this dental world click, you know? So is there a recurring theme that you see in new patients who come to us on their first visit? Let's just say people who come in pain. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Unfortunately, the big motivator for a lot of people to come in is actually feeling pain. But that doesn't even necessarily mean that there's not issues going on. You can have a cavity in every single tooth in your mouth and not feel pain or sensitivity at all. So that's something we really try to stress is to make sure everybody's getting in here regularly because you could have issues going on that you have no idea about, like infections. And everybody knows chronic infection is never good to have. Right. And so people do have this feeling that if nothing hurts, I'm healthy, and that is the farthest thing from the truth when it comes to dentistry, at least, dental health. I don't know, it might be true for medical health in general. What do you think? I mean, in general, I mean, we all go for our exams and we, people get, women get mammograms and things like that and colonoscopies, but for the most part, you really 
really, if you're not in pain, I guess, you really can assume you're kind of healthy, right? Yeah, it's, it's strange because I don't think people go to a doctor's office and say, if you get diagnosed with something, well, I'm not in pain, so how could I have X, Y, Z? Whereas it's a common, I wouldn't say, it's common enough that it's a pattern that a lot of people will say that when we diagnose them with a cavity or need a crown or that they need a root canal. But I don't think that's something that people will say to a medical doctor. That's a very good distinction, and I definitely agree. And so I've used this scenario before where I tell somebody I need to take an x-ray or I need to do a set of x-rays. They go, well, why? There's nothing bothers me. And I go, well, we need to know for sure. And I said, you know, women don't go to have mammograms because they have pain in their breasts. They go to make sure they don't have breast cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it, it's very true. Uh, I, it's strange that we get a little bit of pushback, but maybe we just have a bad rap. But, you know, we, we're, we're big here on showing you what your problems are and making sure that you understand as well as we do moving forward, you know, what the issue is. Okay. So basically the reoccurring theme would be that people don't think they have any issues because they have no pain. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay. So now I'm also curious, what do you say to a person who, when you tell them they need a root canal, they look at you and they say, just pull it or can't you just pull it? <laughs> I'm sure my face says a lot more than I say sometimes, but um, it's hard. It, it just really hurts me a lot to, to uh, pull a perfectly fine tooth that we can save. A lot of people don't realize this, and I know it sounds really simple, but once you pull a tooth, it really is gone for the rest of your life. And you think you won't miss it because you have 28 of them, 20 or 27 others, but at some point you will miss it and you will notice that it is gone, whether you have decreased chewing efficiency or aesthetically people can see it. It's just, I, I think that everybody should try their best to always try to save a tooth so that's mine yeah because it starts this cascade of events the other teeth start to shift you don't chew as well over there so you start over chewing on the other side and what i say to people when you said your face says a lot now that we're wearing masks yeah. your face isn't <laughs> saying as much yeah exactly yeah. draw a sad face on your mask <laughs> yeah i'll flip it over and have a sad face on it <laughs> but anyway what i say to people is okay so wait a minute you have an infection we can fix it and you want me to pull it if you had an infected baby toe, would you have me pull it? Right, exactly. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, even though you have nine other toes and you could probably get by without it, you're going to notice it, you know? Yeah, so we need to think of our teeth as part of our body. We need to take, think of our, our dental health is related to our overall health, our medical health. And so with that said, what advice do you have for our patients and our listeners when it comes to their dental health? Meaning, how about naming three things that they can do to enhance their chances of keeping their teeth for a lifetime? Floss. I know that's a big one that people think is, for some reason, even though we say it every single appointment, people still think that flossing really doesn't do much. Brush your teeth and go to the dentist regularly. Honestly, it's that simple. There's not much more to the equation. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. If you keep your teeth clean, you get every surface of every tooth cleaned. Every time you do the brushing and the flossing, you won't get cavities and you won't get gum disease and you won't need us for other than maybe just a cleaning to get the areas that are tough for you to reach. Yeah, we'll, we'll consider you one of the boring patients where you just come in for a cleaning and, and then you leave. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a boring dental patient, right? Everybody wants to be a boring dental patient. I want to be a boring dental patient. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right. Well, that sounds cool. I think we're pretty much out of time. I really appreciate your time, and I'm glad to hear you're not going anywhere. I'm glad to hear that you're in big debt now for your house. <laughs> yeah, I'm indebted to you. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, and uh, maybe we'll do this again sometime. Yeah, I, I assume that we will. Okay. Bye now. Well, looks like that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Before we go, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kivitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or send an email to speaking at the